Well, with that, Encore proudly presents Beauty and the Beast Jr. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. An old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transforms him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell over the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside a castle with his magic mirror as the only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered him was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Every day, like the one before, little town full of little people, waking up to say, Bonjour! 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 There, there goes the baker with his tray like always, the same old bread and rolls to sell. Every morning just the same Since the morning that we came To this poor provincial town Good morning, Belle Morning, Monsieur Say, where are you off to? The bookshop I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and an ogre and... That's nice! Marie, the baguettes! Hurry up! Look, there she goes, that girl is strange, no question Days and distracted, can't you tell? I'm part of any crowd Cause her head's up on some cloud No denying she's a funny girl that fell Good day How is your family? Bonjour Good day How is your wife? I need six eggs That's too expensive There must be more than this provincial life Ah, Belle Good morning I've come to return the book I borrowed. Finished already? Oh, I couldn't put it down. Have you got anything new? <laughs> Not since yesterday. Oh, that's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one, but you've read it twice. Well, it's my favorite. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. If you like all that much, then it's yours. But, sir. I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's my favorite. 
she won't discover that it's him till chapter three. Now it's no wonder that her name means beauty. Her looks have got no parallel. But behind that fair facade, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid she's, she's rather odd. odd. Very different from the rest of us. She's nothing like the rest of us. She's different from the rest of us. She's Greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. No beasts alive stand a chance against you. And no girl for that matter. It's true, LeFou. And I've got my sights set on that one. The inventor's daughter? She is the lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she is the most beautiful girl in town. I know. And but... don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do, but. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous, and I fell. Here in town, there's only she who's as beautiful as me. So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. Look there, he goes, isn't he dreamy? Monsieur Gaston, ah, oh, he's so cute. Be still, my heart, I'm hardly breathing. He's such a tall, dark, strong, and handsome brute. Pardon. Me. What the? Excuse me, please let me through. This bed, this fish, it's still. They smell. I love to say, oh, goodness, my Just watch, I'm going to make them my wife. Look, there she goes, that girl is strange, but special. The most peculiar mademoiselle. It's a pity and a sin, she doesn't quite fit in. She really is a funny girl, a beauty, but a funny girl. Well, some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you got your head out of those books and paid attention to more important things like me. Hint, hint. Like you. Gaston, please, I have to get inside to help my father. That crazy old fool? He needs all the help he can get. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Papa, are you all right? I just can't get this gosh darn contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Well, we'd better get cracking then. Now, where did I put that bone-legged clench? Papa. Thank you, dear. Did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Papa, do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd. Now, where would you get an idea like that? I don't know. It's just, I'm not sure I fit in here. There's no one I can really talk to. How about Gaston? He's a handsome fellow. He's handsome, all right. And rude and conceited and, oh, Papa, he's not for me. All right, well, I'll tell you what. This invention will be the start of a new life for both of us. It works! It does? It does! You did it, Papa! You really did it! Here, I made you a scarf for good luck at the fair. Now we'll win for sure. And once we're done, we'll get out of this town and travel to all those places you read about in your books. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful! Now, is it this way, or this way? Oh dear. Wolves! Get back! 
back. Someone help, help me. Is anyone home? Maybe if we stay quiet, he'll go away. Please, I, I was lost in the woods and I just need a place to stay for the night. Oh, poor fellow. Gogsworth, have a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. Ah! And goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. You're a clock. And you're, and you're talking. <laughs> Stop it! I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude. It's just I, I've never seen. Uh, I, oh, you are chilled to the bone, monsieur. Come warm yourself by the fire. Not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Ooh, la, la. What have we here? Do my eyes deceive me? Or is this a man? Oh, well, hello. This has gone far enough. Coming through. How would you like a nice pot of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. Ah! I think I scared him, Mama. Well, hello there, little guy. What's your name? Chip. Care for a blanket, monsieur? We've got to get him out of here. Do you know what the master will do if he finds out we brought in a stranger? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. There's a stranger here! Master, allow me to explain. Who let him in? Master, may I take this moment to say I was against it from the start? You've all betrayed oh, me! Oh dear! Who are you? M M M Maurice? What are you doing in my castle? I, I was lost in, in the woods. You're not welcome here! I I'm sorry, I'll, I'll just be going now. I it's hideous, isn't it? You come to look at the beast, have you? No, no, I, I meant no harm. I, I was merely looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. <laughs> like that's gonna change your feelings for me. Oh no, no, never. Good, well, if I'm gonna have a wedding, I guess I better propose to the bride. Ah! Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, mademoiselle. Oh, Gaston, it's a portrait of you. <laughs> and it's signed. You shouldn't have. Don't mention it. Belle, today's the day your dreams come true. How could you possibly know oh, about my dreams? plenty. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge, my little wife massaging my feet while the strapping boys play on the floor with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, strapping boys, just like me. Imagine that. <sighs> so, Belle, what'll it be? Yes or oh yeah? I just don't deserve you. <sighs> Who does? But thanks for asking. So, how'd it go? Oh, do you know that bell? Always playing hard to get. <gasps> she she turned you down? For now, but I'll have bell for my wife. Make no mistake about it! Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Not her! I guarantee you she wants much more than this provincial life! Get gone! Get gone! Get gone! Get gone! Get gone! Can you imagine? Me, the wife of that boorish, brainless. I wanted 
the great white somewhere I want it more than I can tell And for once it might be grand To have someone understand I want so much more than they've got planned Have you seen Gaston? You just missed him Wait a minute where did you get that scarf? Oh, this? At the crossroads, in the woods. Pretty nice, huh? It belongs to my father. Something must have happened to him. Yeah, well, finders keepers. Oh, Papa. <laughs> And keep quiet. Just hard to invite him to stay. I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish! Oh, Cogsworth, can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? Oh, right. If the master doesn't break his spell, slowly but surely, we will all become things. Hold on, Lumia. We've got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? It's a girl! This is the one, the girl we have been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. Now wait a minute, let's not be hasty. Hello? Is anyone there? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle? Is that you? Papa! How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. Who's done this to you? Belle, you, you must leave this place. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I do not take orders from anyone. Get out! No, wait, please forgive me. Please let him out. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. There's nothing you can do. Wait, please, take me instead. No, Belle, you don't know what you're saying. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. No! Come into the light. Belle, listen to me. I, I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Take him to the village. Wait! No, not yet! No, let her go! Let her go, Belle! Belle! I'll never see him again. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Master, since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. I'll show you to your room. You follow me! This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West it's Wing? It's forbidden! You were never to set foot there, do you understand? Yes. This is your room. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing, you will join me for dinner. That's not a request! Yes, I made the choice, for Papa I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then, you're a fool. Think again. where I should learn to be happy never dreamed 
meant that a home could be dark and cold. I was told every day in my childhood, even when we grow old, home should be where the heart is. Never were words so true. My heart's far, far away. Home is too. What I'd give to return to the life that I knew lately, and to think I complained of that dull provincial town. Is this home? Am I here for a day or forever? Shut away from the world and oh, who knows when. Oh, but then, as my life has been altered, once it can change again. Build higher walls around me, change every lock and key. Nothing lasts. Nothing holds all of me. My heart's far, far away, home and free. Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're Mrs. You're... Potts, dear. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. Careful, darling. Uh, who, who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Wait, this is impossible. Well now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. <laughs> oh, of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. And who knows, you may find home here too. she thinks she is. That girl is tangled with the wrong man. Darn right. No one says no to Gaston. Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. Bear? Where? Oh, LeFou, I'm disgraced. Who, you? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd like to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's on and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see. Yeah. 
Unless I'm intimidating I would have got a guest on If I were us Last inch of me's covered with hair. No one hits like Gaston, that just spits like Gaston. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expect a rating. Two ten points for Gaston! Dungeon. Who? Bell. We, we must go at once. There's not a moment to lose. Whoa, slow down, Maurice. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? A beast. A horrible, monstrous beast. <laughs> oh, 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 if you want help, I'll oh, go get her myself. Crazy old Maurice. He's always good for a laugh. <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Crazy old Maurice. LeFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime. I know, but that wacky old coot is Belle's father, and his sanity's only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I... Yes? Then we... No, would she? Guess! Now I get it! Let's, Let's go. go! No one who walks like Gaston takes cheap shots like Gaston plans to persecute harmless crap plots like Gaston So his marriage we soon will be celebrating My, what a guy! I'll go check on her, won't be a minute. Try to be patient, sir. The girls lost to father and to freedom, all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have, I'm not a fool. Good, then you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. Lumiere, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we do not have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm... Well, look at me! Master, you must help us see past all of 
that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying to make yourself a bit more presentable. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Show her the compliments. But be sincere. And above all, what? You must control your temper. Well, where is she? She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that. Your Lordship, your Grace, your Eminence, let's not be hasty. Master, please control your temper. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle. I'm telling you to come down to dinner. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please attempt to be a gentleman. Deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Um. Please. No, thank you. Fine, then starve! Master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. What were we thinking? We will never be human again. Well, what would you have us do? Give up? I like this girl. I like her spunk. If you ask me, she was just being stubborn. He did say please. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. Hello, dearie. I hope the mouse didn't frighten you too much. He can be a little temperamental. A little? Hello, I'm Cogsworth, head of this household, and this is Lumiere. Enchanté, mademoiselle! If there's anything that we can do to make you stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth! You heard what the master said. Oh, pish tosh! I'm not about to let this poor child go hungry. Fine, glass of water, crust of bread, and then- Cogsworth, she is not our prisoner, she is our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. Fine, dinner, but keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? <laughs> Ma chérie, mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin around your neck, cherry, and we'll provide the rest. Soup to shore, hot hors d'oeuvres, why, we only live to serve. Try the gourmet stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask their dishes. They can sing, they can dance. Sister Romis, this is France. The dinner here is never second best. Go on and fold your bed. You take a glance and then we'll be our guest. We are guest, be our guest. cheese soup, play, pie and pudding on trombé. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're a lord you're scared. That's the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flat wears entertaining. We tell jokes. I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste that you can bear. Go on and lift your glass. You want your own free pass to be our guest. Your stress, it's my dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. It's a guest, sakes alive, well, I'll be blessed. Wine's been poured and thank the Lord. I've had the napkins freshly pressed with dessert, chill one tea. And my dear, that's fine with me. While the cups do their soft shoeing, I'll be bubbling, I'll be brewing, I'll get warm. Piping hot for heaven's sakes, it's that spot. Clean it up, we want the company impressed. We've got a lot to do. Is it one lump or two for you?
Lumiere. Thank you for dinner. It was delicious. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Perhaps you would like a tour. I don't think that's a good idea. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Actually, I do, right this way. I can do this. I can do this. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. May I grab your attention to the neoclassic... Hmm. Neoclassic objects from the Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. And may I grab your attention to the flying buttresses above the aviary? Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman? I'm nothing but a fool! And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was diverted. What's over there? <laughs> nothing! <laughs> nothing of any importance in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding there. Ah, uh, nothing. Perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something more interesting. Over here we have tapestries dating all the way back to night. Don't touch that! I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I... I thought I told you never to come here. I know, but... What are you... Do you realize what you could have done? Get out! Ouch! Don't touch me! No, I... Promise or no promise, I won't stay in this castle. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. There's just so little left of me. So little left. Let me see. Just hold still. Ow, that hurts. If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you should have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. <sighs> now, hold still. This may sting a little. <sighs> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. Ah, so the ice is broken at last! And not a moment too soon. The petals are falling at an alarming rate. And I can hardly bend over at all anymore. I think it's time we give them a little push. I have just a thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? There's something sweet and almost kind. He was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. But now he's dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. Come dearie, let's get you cleaned up.
she glanced this way, I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be, I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up, my heart starts pounding, and I can't breathe. Good! That's good. Excellent! I've never felt this way about anyone. I want to give her something, but what? It has to be something special, something that sparks her interest. Look who's back. Say something about her hair. Uh, it's brown. A compliment. Oh, uh, what a nice bow. Thank you. Uh, Belle, I, I have something to show you, but you have to close your eyes. It's a surprise. Can I open them? Not yet. You're not peeking, are you? All right. Now! I can't believe it. I've never seen so many books in my whole life. You like it? It's wonderful. Then it's yours. Arthur, have you read it? No, I can't. You never learned to read? Only a little and long ago. Well, it just so happens this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here, sit by me. Well, who'd have thought? Well, bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Well, who indeed? And who'd have guessed they'd come together on their own? It's so peculiar. Wait, Wait and see. A few days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Shh. I'll tell you when you're older. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth his sword. So, that must be he's the king! <laughs> Wait and see. I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place and make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I, what I am. We have something in common, you know. What? In the town where I come from, people think I'm odd. You? So, I know how it feels to be different. And I know how lonely that can be. Belinda? Yes, and so far he's been a perfect gentleman. Mama, I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbly. It's hope, son. I've been feeling it too. I'll be my little friend. The day we have waited for may be at hand. It's only that true. Yeah. Ah, human again. Think what that means. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with some mademoiselle on each charm. When I'm human again, only human again, poison polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be courting again, she can sporting again. It should have caused several husbands alarm. I'll hop down off this shelf and too sweet be myself. I can't wait to be human again. When we're human again, only human again. When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. Little push, little shove, they could push, fall, love. Ah, sure, we won't it all be top drawer. 
Oh, with lipstick and rouge And I won't be so huge Why, I'll easily fit through the door All like suits of woman I'll wear gowns all of hair It's my prayer to be human again When I'm human again Only human again When the world wants more stars making sense I'll unwind for change Really, that would be strange Can I help it if I'm t tense? In a shack by the sea, I'll sit back sipping tea Let my early retirement commence Far from fools made of wax, I'll get down to brass tacks and relax When I'm human again! Guinevere heard Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent And no one could ever make her smile again what a That's the end What a beautiful story I knew you'd like it I'd like to ask you for something What is it? A second chance. Would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me? With you? That'd be... Oh, yes! We'll be dancing again, we'll be twirling again, we'll be whirling around like some cheese. When we're human again, only human again, we'll go waltzing those old one, two, three. We'll be flying again, we'll be gliding again, stepping, striding as fun as we Meanwhile, back in a dark alley of the village, Gaston held a secret meeting. Thank you for meeting with me on such short notice, Monsieur Dark. This fellow said you'd make it worth my while. Look, I've got my heart set on marrying Belle. She just needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. It's like this. See? Tonight is the night, the night, to confess your love. I don't think I can do this. You must. How will I know when the moment is right? You will know because you will feel it in here, and you must speak from the heart. I must speak from, I can't. You, you must. must. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid she might. She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take that chance. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. You can do it, Master. I know you can. As old as time, true as it can be, barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change, small to say the least. Both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the beast. Dance with me. No, I. Dance, Dance with her! her! Ever just the same, ever a surprise, ever. As before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise, tale as old as time. 
night Tune has told us song Bittersweet and strange Finding you can change Learning you were wrong Certain as the sun Rising in the east Tale as old as time Song as old as rhyme Beauty and the beast Tale as old as time Song as old as rhyme Beauty and the Off to the cupboard with you now, Chip. It's past your bedtime. Good night, love. Belle, I... Yes? Belle, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone's so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere. With me? Yes. I must speak from the heart! Is something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror can show you anything, anything you desire. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa? Oh no, Papa, something's wrong. He's in the woods. I think he's lost. I should, I should. Go to him. What? You should go to him. But what about... You're not my prisoner, Belle. You haven't been for a long time. Just take that mirror with you as a way to always look back and remember me. I can never forget you. Belle, I... Yes? Go. Go. I'll never see her again. I must say, sire, everything's going just swimmingly. I let her go. You what? How could you do that? I had to. Why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it, that's it, then. That should break the spell. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And it's too late. finally home. I don't know what happened. The, the last thing I remember, I, I was falling. You were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never find you. But, but the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. He let you go? That, that horrible beast? He's not horrible. In the beginning, I was so frightened. I thought it was the end of everything. But somehow, things changed. Good afternoon. Monsieur Dark. I've come to collect your father. What? Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic about a beast. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah! yeah. Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? One little word, Bill. That's all it takes. Never! Have it your way. Take the old man! Let, let go of me, Bell! Bell! I can prove my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no, he never hurt anyone. I know he looks frightful, but he's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. She's as crazy as the old man. She says this creature is her friend. Well, I've hunted wild beasts, and I've seen what they can do. The beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. He would never do that. Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast. Yeah! Until he's dead. 
dead. He'll come stalking us at night. He'll sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the wood, through the darkness and the shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of a castle, and there's something truly terrible inside. It's a feast, it's a face, razor sharp one. Massive paws, killer claws from a feast. Hear him roar, see him foam. But we're not coming home till he's dead. Yeah, till he's dead. Yeah, kill the beast. I won't let you do this. Try and stop us. Oh, Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No! I've already lost you once. I'm not going to lose you again. We'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with I me? Am. I am! I am! Hearts ablaze, fingers high, people marching into battle. I'm afraid I'll go to danger just in peace. Raise a flag, sing a song, here we come, we're 50 strong and 50 friends we can be wrong. Let's kill the beast! Kill the beast! forest, carrying weapons and torches in hand. They gathered around the beast castle as they slowly made their way inside. Gaston! This place gives me the creeps! Like you could use a nice cup of tea. Tea? Well, thank you. Here you go. Take that, you scurvy scum. Where did everybody go? While the beast servants battled the villagers, Gaston made his way to the West Wing. Ha! You're even uglier in the flesh! Did you really think a girl like Belle would want a thing like you? She despises you, beast! It's over, beast! Belle is mine! No, 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 please! Please let me go! Please, I'm bringing you! Please! I came back. If only I'd come sooner. Maybe it's better this way. Shh. We're together now. You'll see. At least I got to see you one last time. We are home. 
we are where we shall be forever trust in me for you know i won't run away from today this is all that i need and all that i need to say home should be where the heart is i'm certain as i can be i am home you're my home stay with Bell, I... yes oh no no please don't leave me please i love you my eyes. Don't you recognize me? It is you. Oh my, oh goodness me. This spell is broken. We're human again. Mrs. Potts. Lumiere. Cogsworth. Oh my Cogsworth. Belle, let's go find your father. Who was that young man? The prince. No, it wasn't. It most certainly was. You who? Bonjour, handsome. Babette! You look so much better! I like you better this way too, Lumia. Madame, may I say, you look ravishing. <laughs> well, thank you, Cogsworth. I simply can't believe this still fits me after all these years. Do I still have to sleep in the cupboard? <laughs> Two lives have begun now Two hearts become one now One passion, one dream one thing forever true.